Well, my name is Nicholas Molyneux and uh, I'm a, a climate change advisor for UNICEF. I think Kyrgyzstan is already recognised as, as one of the most climate vulnerable countries in the area and that's largely because of, of quite a high dependence on glacial meltwater. So into the future that water is not going to be as available. If glaciers recede because of increased temperatures, people whose livelihoods depend on livestock, you know, living in, in, on pastures in, in highland and midland areas, you know, they can also be impacted by these increased temperatures and increased land degradation. So 90% of the electric, electric, electricity produced here in Kyrgyzstan is through hydropower generation from in, in the Narin River. If you end up having a reduction in power generation, you end up having to purchase power, either from neighboring countries directly, or you end up having to purchase oil with which to, to or, or coal with which to power your power stations. And if you're having to purchase it, you have to purchase it using funds. And the issue for children here is that if that money